Hey guys, what's up? It's Jonathan with One Big Impact. Good morning, and it is day 12 of the challenge. I'm excited. Okay, so yes, I got my days right this time. I know, it's horrible. But the weekends are rough for me. No excuses, damn it. So I actually have a huge list here. Uh, a lot of people are actually new to the uh, Facebook group called Healthy Living for a Healthy Life and also new to the challenges. So I kind of have a recap um, of a lot of things that I've discussed in previous challenges for those have, the, that have not gotten up to speed with those. So uh, I apologize for you if you already know these things, but I don't really care because I'm, I'm concerned with everybody being on the same page and everybody getting a fair chance. So real quick, I'm gonna make this video as fast as humanly possible with all the stuff that I have to cover. So, first of all, before anything else, great job. Seriously, keep it up. The next thing is be careful with artificial sweeteners. A lot of the times, uh, drinks and stuff like that will say, well, it's just an artificial sweetener, it's no big deal. Uh, yeah, well, uh, more than you know, one of those, and sometimes even one of those, specifically with myself, will kick you out of ketosis and you're gonna have a hard time being able to lose weight if you drink too many of those. So be really, really careful with those. Uh, the, the next thing is uh, be careful with uh, drinks. Like I said before, drink only water. At least nine bottles a day at, uh, eight or nine bottles a day at those 16.9 ounce bottles, or uh, at least a gallon. Um, good job Ashley the other day she's like at like a gallon and a half that's awesome uh, eat five the next thing is eat five meals in a day which is like basically every three hours every two or three hours I need you to eat what you're doing by doing that is actually kickstarting your metabolism back to when you were a kid or whatever so your body's more regular it knows it's got food it can release waste so that's really a good thing keep keep that in mind uh, new meal plan is coming tomorrow, obviously. Uh, day 13 is tomorrow. So I'm going to release the new meal plan so that you guys can be ready for new uh, day 14. Now I'm going to take some of your advice and your suggestions and we're going to formulate our best meal plan possible. Uh, the next thing, obviously be stronger than your excuses. Don't make up excuses because you can all day long. Uh, one, the next thing is one, one bad meal plan or snack sticks with you for a while and it's totally not worth it. A lot of people, you know, get in the mindset, well, you know, I'm just gonna eat one bad meal. Hold on, I gotta go turn off my dang computer. Shit. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. They'll pull my video if they hear that going in the background. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but um, a lot of people think, you know, well, it's just, it's just one bad meal or whatever, you know. Well, not only is that going to hinder you for three days, but, you know, most likely in that three days, you're going to be like, well, it's not no big deal. You know, once you start justifying one thing, you justify another thing and then another thing and another thing. And it's a really bad cycle. And a lot of the times, it's extremely difficult to get out of. So please be very careful with that and don't think that it's worth it just to eat a bad meal or a bad snack or something like that. If you feel that you need to do something like that, please contact me and we'll see what we can do and work it out. Um, but if you're not within 10 pounds of your goal weight, you should not be doing something like that. Uh, the next thing is, but there are circumstances that I'll work with you and share with you if you need to contact me. Uh, the next thing is buy an outfit. Um, like, so I have different loc. <laughs> I used to only have one location where I had um, a spot to uh, weigh myself and stuff and write my goals but wherever it is if you could see it like right there on the wall you see that guy um, buy an outfit somewhere you go constantly whether it's where you weigh yourself or you write down in your journal or whatever and go there and put an outfit on that you want to fit into once you get there so every day when you weigh yourself if you know you ate like shit the day before, you're going to look at that outfit and be like, all right, it's, it's really time to get into gear because I got to get in this outfit and I got to be able to make it. So definitely keep that in mind, you guys. Uh, the next thing is get rid of the clothes that are too big. If you have clothes that don't, if you have clothes that don't fit you, like Ron, you know, uh, he moved out of the sizes or whatever. 
definitely uh, get rid of those, donate them, uh, give them to a friend or a family member that could use them, uh, whatever, just get rid of them because otherwise you have that safety security that you can fit back into those clothes. That's just a horrible idea and it could lead to a disaster. Uh, the next thing is share the knowledge you learn. If you learn knowledge here through group members or through myself or uh, through yourself, please share that with people because that's why I started this channel, uh, to be able to share knowledge. Originally it didn't start out you know, with health and fitness and stuff like that, but it was always just to share knowledge free so that people don't have to pay for it. You know, It's like picking up a book. You know, um, If you pick up a book and you learn something, please share that with somebody because that could be very valuable and very beneficial to somebody. So keep that in mind. Uh, Realize uh, it may take a while, and that's okay. Uh, a lot of the times people want you know, instant gratification. If you need to lose 100 pounds, I hate to break it to you, but it's not gonna take a month. It's not. Could you do it in a year? Yes. Is it possible? Yes. But you need to be realistic and remember that these goals, they take time, and consistency is the key. If you're not following your meal plan and you're kind of screwing up and you think you're gonna do it in a year, get that out of your head, it's not gonna happen. But if you're diligent, you work your ass off and you stick to your uh, you stick to your meal plans and your exercise and everything, it's going to happen. It's definitely a reality. But remember, it takes time and that's perfectly fine. Uh, oh, show me your steps. I wanna make sure, because my Fitbit's broke, but I think I got another one coming. Um, show me your steps and if your steps are above 10,000, please post them on the healthy group. I'd love to see that everybody's doing at least their 10,000 steps per day to fight off heart disease and actually uh, create a better, more healthful life for themselves. Uh, make large and mini goals. Um, yeah, so like I said, if you have to lose 100 pounds, I understand that's perfectly fine, but do mini goals too. 10 pounds, five pounds, 15 pounds, 20 pounds to make sure that you're not getting discouraged. Next thing is keep a journal. Keep a log of what's happening. Keep pictures, take pictures, measurements, all that stuff because trust me, when you get there, you're gonna wanna be posting before and afters. That's the biggest thing with people that are overweight. You see, I only have a couple pictures out there. If anybody has any pictures of me back in the day, uh, when I was heavier, please post them because a lot of the times we don't like pictures of ourselves when we're heavier and stuff like, like that. So definitely take your shirt off if you're a guy, um, if you're a girl, you know, wear a sports bra or something and take pictures before your journey because trust me, you're going to love looking at those and seeing how great you did once you achieve your uh, successes. Uh, the next thing is stop the negative self-talk. Do not tell yourself that you're not doing bad or you're not doing good. Even if you screw up, don't do that because you're going to be your worst, own worst enemy. Stop telling yourself bad things. Every time you say one bad thing, say five good things. One bad thing, five good things. Eventually, you'll stop saying so much because it, it forces you to talk so much to yourself in a positive way. You'll just be like, I'm just, I'm just gonna be good. I'm gonna be positive. You, the next thing is know that you're special. Seriously, you have to know this journey and everything that you're creating is special and it's amazing and I'm proud of you, so keep up the good work. Uh, the next thing is don't listen to people's negativity. One of my main driving forces for this journey was people thinking that I couldn't do it. My ex-wife, I hate to say it, I love her to death, but she was convinced that I needed um, you know, stomach surgery, gastric bypass. And I looked it up, I really was considering it. And at the time they said there was a 50-50 chance of me dying. And I'm like, no, what? I can do this naturally. And she said, no, that's impossible. And I hadn't seen her for six years and I saw her about three months ago for the first time in six years and I had lost uh, about 150 pounds and we sat in a dentist's office for 45 minutes and we didn't say anything. And I'm not saying I'm happy about this, but she had gained some weight um, and I had lost weight and I did it naturally. I didn't have to say anything. I didn't say anything. I obviously don't wish anything bad upon her, but it was nice knowing that I achieved my goals and in silence, I felt great about it. So uh, remember that uh, people's negativity doesn't, isn't your reality, so stop making it that. Don't believe it. The next thing is meal prep. Be prepared with your meals. Uh, next thing is read about it. Whatever you're doing, if you're doing uh, Atkins or a low carb or a paleo or a keto or whatever you're doing, read about it. 
do your do your research seriously get that in uh, have backup plans if you know you're going on a long trip throw some Atkins shakes in the trunk or some protein bars whatever it is that you're following have something sitting on the side so that you know you're ready and that you have the ability to not screw up um, have backup plans if you're not going to be able to have those snacks okay so what is it going to take you to be able to make sure you have something uh, what's the grocery stores that are nearby plan out your trip and make sure you're okay uh, the next thing is remember that your journey is beautiful just like you don't ever think because you're overweight or because you're out of shape that you're not amazing because that's just not true you're just as amazing now as you are going to be when you lose weight it's just that you're going to achieve your goal there's no difference in how beautiful as a human being you are um, you're not going to be uh, more charismatic or whatever when you lose weight you're just you're who you are you're fantastic just as you are so keep that in mind um, the most important thing is there is no magic pill the only one that's magic is you uh, today you guys I want to uh, cover our workout plan um, I wrote it down here so we're gonna do a hundred jumping jacks 50 crunches 20 tricep dips, which is leaning up against a chair or something and then just kind of extending uh, up and down like a reverse push-up. 15 air squats, 20 lunges each leg, and remember I told you to do those across the yard if you can because it takes a while. Uh, 20 standing calf raises, 5 push-ups. If you can do more than 5 push-ups, please do. Do as many as you can till failure. 30-second uh, plank at minimum. If you can do 2 minutes, 5 minutes, whatever, do it. And then... Uh, another 20 jumping jacks make sure you get your hour of cardio in I don't care if it's walking on a treadmill walking around the block whatever it is if it's Ron Grimes if you got your seven laps around the block that's awesome you guys keep up the good work this is day 12 tomorrow we're gonna to be coming out with a new meal plan I am so proud of you guys seriously and each and every single day we have so many new members it's almost impossible for me to keep up with I apologize because lately I've been feeling slightly overwhelmed it's really getting tough for me to keep up and i'm doing my best and i want you guys to know that i'm on the facebook group 24 7 i'm chatting with people 24 7 i'm working on youtube 24 7 so please don't think that i'm ignoring anybody i'm doing my best um, i love you guys uh hashtag be stronger than your excuses do your best because I am doing my best. Keep up the good work and remember to spread love, not hate. Peace.